Hi everyone, welcome along to our video today. Today we're going to show you how to access the service menu on our Vidstins 100 combi boiler. The service menu is what we sometimes refer to as the B menu. A full list of B codes can be found in our manufacturing instructions. These can be accessed on VBooks online. In the service menu we can do such things as put the boiler into its minimum and maximum rate, accessing the commissioning mode, accessing the parameter menu and also looking at the previous error history for the boiler. So we're just going to have a look at the front panel now and I'll show you how to access the B codes. Okay, so to access the B menu we press and hold the menu and OK button for 4 seconds. Again, all this information can be found in the manufacturing instructions. Okay, so you can see there the first code that comes up is B1 and for a full list of the, all the codes we look at the manufacturing instructions. I will put a screen in shot for you so you can see as we go through this video today uh, the, what it means when I'm going through the codes. Okay, so B1 is for connecting with the uh, software tool. That's more for our um, service engineers when they're on a warranty call uh, to get access into the boiler with their systems. Okay, so to scroll through, we press the up and down arrows. So now we come to B2. B2 is our system configuration. This is where we can fine tune the boiler and set up some further parameters to make the boiler run more efficiently. I will be doing another video on specifically what's in B2. Please find this on our YouTube installers channel. So now we scroll through to B3. B3, we can see now some diagnostics with inside the boiler. This is where we can use this to help us with our fault finding to see just what's going on inside the boiler. There is another menu for this which I'll put in the screen now. Once we press OK, we can see uh, we come up with D codes. As you can see within the shot in the screen, the D codes relate to what you're looking at within the boiler. So D1, for example, would be when we've got an outside weather sensor connected. So if you're running weather compensation, you'd be able to check what the outside temperature is and see if it correlates with the actual outside temperature, showing you if the sensor is in range. You can also actually check the sensors in range using your multimeter. If you haven't got a weather comp sensor connected, you'll see this uh, display of dashes across the screen showing that we haven't got one connected. To return back out of there, we press the menu button once to get back to the D codes. You can scroll through these now to check whichever parameter you want us to see. So this one, for example, is the, the flow temperature with inside the boiler. So press OK. We can see there this boiler is actually at 57 degrees currently. There are other options in there. And to scroll through, come back out with the menu button and you can scroll through any of these that you'd like to check. So for now, for example, I'd like to just check which position the diverter valve is in. So we go to D7 and we can see there it's in zero. That means it's in heating mode. As you can see from the menu in the screen, it's in heating mode. And again, all these menus can be found in the manufacturing instructions. If you haven't got a copy of the manufacturing instructions, you can find these on VBooks online. Okay, so to return back out of that menu, press the menu button once and press it again to go back to the B menu, which is our service menu. Okay, other things we can find in the service menu, if we go to B4 for example, we can see the previous five error messages that the boiler's displayed. We can also see uh, B5, it's how we get into our commissioning assistant. If you haven't yet seen our video on this uh, commissioning assistant, then please refer to the YouTube installer channel where you can find some videos on where we access the uh, commissioning system and also where we can access it to get into access point for uh, commissioning with our Vita Guide app. Okay, and the last one we can see is B6. This one you'll be using more frequently because this is where we set the boiler into high and low. So we press OK and at the moment it's enough. So we press it up to one and this puts our boiler into high and low by going through one and two. So to B6 and we've got one and two for high and low. Okay, just a quick notes on putting your boiler into high and low. When you put your boiler into high, it will go to what you've rate rated the boiler to. So as we'll see in the other video in B2 in our system configuration, we can range rate the boiler uh, from all the way down from 32 kilowatts for a 35 kilowatt outbox combi boiler right the way down to 3.2 kilowatts. Okay, so if you do, however, set your range rating for your maximum output to say 4 kilowatts, 
when we come into B6 and put it into high, it will only go to what we've range rated it to. Okay, the reason we do that is because if you're putting this boiler, this combi here, uh, you've chosen for your 35 kilowatt option for your high, uh, hot water delivery, but it's in a smaller property with a heat loss of 4 kilowatts, then you can range rate it down to 4 kilowatts. You wouldn't want to send 32 kilowatts of heat down to that uh, 4 kilowatt system. So that's the reason why we've done that. However, if you did want to put it into its full operating temperature and full operating power, you could use the chimney sweep function on the front of the appliance. I'll just show you now quickly how to do that. To access the chimney sweep function, we press the menu and the up arrows together. And it comes to on. That means our chimney sweep function is now switched on. That's the boiler in its maximum output. Okay, once the boiler fires up, it's in its maximum output. To turn the chimney sweep function back off, we just repeat the process by pressing the up arrow and the menu arrow uh, menu button together, and it goes to off, and that's the chimney sweep function off.